I'm going to uh, start giving a tutorial on um, painting with acrylics. Right now I'm going to put down some colors. Because I want to show you how to mix. You want to use your palette knife to mix the colors because if you do it with your paintbrush, uh, the paint will stay in there for a long time and it kind of wastes the paints. So what I like to do is put it on the side and mix the colors. be able to mix enough so I can do the whole area that I want to do. So I'm mixing it with this. background. I add a little bit of water to the acrylics. So this is going to be the background of my project. And what I like to do is go with the background color and also do the edges with the same color. Because if you do the edges, you won't have to get a frame to put, put your artwork on. It could just be shown by the, the sides of that when you hang it up. So I'm going to finish that in a little bit. I'm going to finish doing some of this. You can water it down. You can make it thin, thin like watercolors. The other thing with acrylics is they dry fast. You can also thin it out just by adding more and more water. Because it, acrylics are so opaque, you can draw right on top of the canvas. You can even erase it once the acrylics dry. Again, going around the edges. This is actually an old canvas that my mother-in-law had. She took some classes in art. I usually go in one direction to find, find out that I have some streaks in there. 
I might go over in another direction too, but this one is going to be pretty good. extra paint off the knife because I'm getting a little short of the color. So if you go in a couple different directions, you'll get all the, you won't see any white of the canvas showing. That's all done, and then I'm just going to let it dry right here on the table. And that's when I'll start doing my design. I'm going to do a uh, Aboriginal art for my diversity painting. And you have to get these brushes clean and your palette clean. So I take um, paper towel and try to get most of the paint off. You still see there's a lot of paint in there. And then I'm going to run it under hot water. Soap and hot water to get all the paint out. If you leave any paint in the brush, it'll stiffen the brush and it will actually be ruined. Right now I'm going to put it back in here because I want to show you something else. Some of you may have purchased craft acrylic paint, which is all right to use, but um, it is more watery. It's going to do a little bit of it just to show you that it, it tends to be more see through, thinner. Get my palette knife off. If you don't have a palette knife, you can mix with your brushes. But this is real thin. So what happens when it's that thin, you may have to do a couple of different coats of it. It's all right to use the color right from the, the bottle or jar. I just want to show you how thin this is though. Add a little bit of water just to mix it better, but you can see how thin, even on uh, my palette, you can see how thin it is. So if you do get the craft paint to use, it is cheaper, 
than the tubes. Um, but sometimes it's really watery. I want to get that a little darker, I think. And you might have to go over it several coats. But then again, go on your edges, and you might have to do that twice. So there's the blue right there. So I'm just going to show you how that works. So make sure you rinse them out again. Soap and water, hot salt, warm soap and water, and clear off your palette. That's the other thing you have to do. And still you can't really, you can't paint on top of that until it dries. But it'll be dry, I would say, within about a half an hour. It depends on the weather conditions. If it's humid out, it takes longer to dry. So that's how you mix your acrylic paints. And so what I like to do is do the background first and then come over. I wanted to show you one that I've done, but it's not this project. It's a different project. This is the, the animal project that we're going to be doing after we do the diversity painting. But you can see I painted it on the sides. I can just hang it up on the wall like that. But this is going to be the animal project when we get to that. But just to see how the acrylics work and um, how you can blend them together too in here. This is all acrylics and it's blended. Um, I put layers on it. Uh, water in it if I want it to to have this kind of texture almost like dry brush right in here dry brush and these are more like solid colors okay that's it for that